Hi, welcome to 13.5, Measures of Dispersion. So in this section we're talking about how data is, is dispersed. Is it together as a clump or is it spread out more? That's dispersion. So measures of dispersion are used to indicate the spread of data. The range is the difference between the highest and the lowest values. It indicates the total spread of the data, so that's range. Highest value minus lowest value. So example one, it says nine different employees were selected and the amount of their salary was recorded. Find the range of their salaries. So the high, this is the high value minus the low value. The high value was 56,750. The low value is 24,000. And that's going to be 32,750. That's the range of the, of the data, of the salaries. Now, very, very important um, measurement is standard deviation. This one comes up quite frequently. And if you want to get more into this, we do offer math or STAT 152. It's a statistics class. You can delve much more into this process. Now, I don't have a problem with using calculator to find these values. Okay, I'm going to move this up a little bit. Standard deviation. This is the measure of how much the data differ from the mean. It is symbolized with S when you talk about a sample, whereas it's the sigma, lowercase sigma, whenever it is the whole population. So S equals the square root of the sum of X minus X bar squared. So X minus the mean squared, the data point minus the mean of the data squared over n minus 1. So to find the standard deviation, find the mean of the data. Make a chart having three columns, the data itself, the data minus mean, and the data minus mean squared. List the data vertically under the columns marked data. Subtract the mean from each piece of the data and place the difference in the data minus mean column. Square the values obtained in the data minus mean column and record these values in the data minus mean squared column. Determine the sum of these values in that column. Divide the sum obtained in step 6 by n minus 1, the number of data points, minus 1. That's how you do it for a sample. Determine the square root of the number of obtained in step 7. This is the standard deviation of the set of data. So here's our set of data. So first of all, our x bar is going to be 280 plus 217 plus 665 plus 684 plus 939 plus 299 divided by 6 and that's going to give us 514. So I don't know if you care about all these dollar signs. So we have a column for data then we'll have a column for data minus mean. And we have a column for the data minus mean squared. So for the data we have 280, 217, 665, I'm just putting this data in here, 684, 939, and 299. When we do data minus mean, it's 280 minus the 514 is a negative 234. 217 minus 514 is negative 297. 665 minus 514 is going to be 151. 684 minus 514 is going to be 170. 939 minus 514 is 425. And 299 minus 514 is negative 215. So I have the data minus mean column. Our data, then data minus mean, where I subtract this number, do this number minus the mean. Now the negatives aren't really that big of a deal because we're going to square now. If I square this number, negative 234 squared, I get 54,756. Negative 297 squared is going to be 88,209. 
151 squared is going to be 22801 or 22801. 170 squared is going to be 289,000. Sorry, 28,900, I'm sorry. 425 squared is 180,625. And finally, negative 215 squared is 46,225. So those are all the data minus means squared. And the next step is to add all this up. Boom, 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 boom. And you get 421,516. So we're going to take that value. 421,516, that's sum, divided by 6 minus 1, that's 421,516 over 5. And that's going to be 84303.2. We take the square root of 84303.2 and we get 290.35. So our standard deviation, S, is going to be $290.35. So this data has an average of 514 with a standard deviation of 290.35. Okay, and that'll do it for section 13.5, measures of dispersion. Uh, before I call into this, if this number was smaller, it means it's a tighter set of data. If this number is bigger, it's a wider set of data. So if this number was like 100, it means a lot of those values are really close together. If this number is 300, it means it's more spread out. So anyway, so that's it. So send me your questions. I will talk to you guys later.